Hello, my beautiful Leo dragons. Welcome to your mid-September reading. So first of all, please do like, comment, subscribe, do something so I can see you if you are interested in this deck. So after my September readings, I'm going to be retiring this deck. It is the Tarot of Dreams. And I'm going to be um, doing a draw with everybody who comments, likes, anybody who I can find. So your account, I have to be able to find you. Um, so yeah, so that's it. <laughs> that's it. Okay, let's get into your reading. It's going to be a big reading. So we have here and now between worlds and message in a ball. You're going to be getting a message um, somehow in September. Um, I think that you're really like you're torn between doing two things um, or else you're in the process of doing two things. And I think, wow, when I see the here and now, it's almost like like here and now between worlds. It's almost like you're stuck. You're not moving right? You're just staying in place. There's going to be some sort of message coming in. And let's see exactly what this is about. So I have my moon ology deck. I always say it wrong. Um, so anyways, let's see what the moon has to say. So let's see. One more card, please. Oh, okay, we got two. Okay, so first of all, we have bring love into the situation. Second of all, don't let your past hold you back. Third, the end of a tough cycle approaches. And four is meditate and contemplate. So I'm hearing that you really need to, like, like you need, like something is ending. And I think that you need to make yourself okay with whatever that is. Um... I don't know if you're the one that's been holding things back or if somebody else in your energy has been trying to keep you stuck, but um, don't let your past hold you back. It's time to move forward. And I think it has everything to do with this message in a bottle. You're going to be receiving a message and it's going to be um, getting things to move on, right? So let's see, it's going to get things moving. Hmm. That's interesting. Whoa. Okay. So let me see. So I have those cards that fell. Just a second. Oh, just a second. Let me get this one. Oh, okay. Okay. So over way, 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 way over in the past is the wheel and the tree of life. Okay. If things were moving, um, the, the way that they should be. And it's like you completed some sort of a notch. It was time to move on. It's time to, it's almost like you learned your lessons and it's time to get going. Okay. But in that, okay. In, in this, once you sort of completed that, the six of cups came up and I think that you became nostalgic. You wanted to go back. Okay. It's almost like you were being moved forward, which was beautiful, but then you didn't want something to end. Um, now, this could be with um, somebody you're dealing with, too, that somebody in your energy didn't want something to end because they kept going back. So you might have somebody in your life that either won't let go of you or is, um, you know, keeping on, you know, coming back to you and you're like, no you know what, this, this has to go, right? Like you're trying to go, right? Um, I think that it's really about, um, if this is you, um, I think that you need to put your past behind you. I think that's what it is right now. Your past is keeping you stuck. Okay. Yeah. Hangman seeing it in a new perspective. Okay. So deep down inside, um, you have too many choices happening um, with you. Your expectations are way too high. Um, and it's holding back your celebrating. You're not able to have any sort of growth, right? So the Four of Wands is supposed to be the most positive card in the deck. But it's almost like you're holding 
back the positiveness or somebody is holding it back for you. Like somebody is so stuck. Okay. And I don't, I don't think that, um, I don't think that it's you. So here's the deal. Okay. So the end of a tough cycle approaches, let's keep going on from this because it will clarify this is the palace of wands. So with this, you have career, physical, passion, creation, travel, everything's like, everything's going to start moving for you. Okay. Everything's going to start traveling for you and it's going to be wonderful. But the problem is, is as you start to get that forward movement, um, I don't think that you expected to be released from this. And so your emotions are going to be all over the place. And this is why you have meditate and contemplate. It's because when this comes through, you really need to go inside and you need to really see um, everything for what it is. And I think that, and I just heard, um, heard knocks. So for whoever is creating this stagnant energy, it's going to be a very hard knock, right? It's, it's going to really hit you hard because it's almost like it's beyond your control. This message is going to come through and it's beyond your control and it's going to be releasing everything. So, um, if you've been stuck in a situation by another person, I'm really surprised that, um, judgment hasn't come out because that's, it's exactly like this whole reading. I'm hearing like judgment in reverse, right? Somebody else is controlling this. So if you're watching for a Leo, um, I don't know why, whenever I read Leos, I always get this weird split energy. Which is funny because it's an energy you'd expect to see with typically if you want to uh, get into the uh, generalizations. It's something that you'd see with Gemini. Um, but yeah, you guys, it's like I always get this split. It's like, no, you know what, wh whoever this reading is talking about wouldn't be watching a tarot reading, right? So, okay, so we have the three of wands. So back here we have the three of wands in reverse, the seven of cups in reverse, and the three of pentacles in the reverse. You have a lot of threes. I feel like there was, even though karmically you are moving ahead and completing something, I think there was um, definitely some sort of backstabbing. There was definitely a some obstacles. Um, there were setbacks. And because it's two threes like this, I mean, it, like it could have been even that there was an affair going on right? Like it's just, it's crazy, right? It's so up here, we have the seven of pentacles and it's sideways. It's about having patience, but still being so disappointed. And I think that's what it is, is it's like, you kept going back. There was no forward movement. There is just nothing happening. You have the knight of swords and the eight of swords in reverse. Yeah. So you're working on freeing yourself from these thoughts Okay. So it's this, it's, it's about really needing meditation. It's about sort of running around scattered and staggered and moving very quickly. Right. And like problem solving and everything. And you got yourself out of this situation. And I'm just hearing, you know, you need to take the time to heal from this. Yeah. The chariot. So these three came out sideways. We have the chariot, the eight of cups and the three of swords. So things have been somewhat chaotic. I hear that these were reversed and it's sort of coming to the upright. Okay. As the chariot starts to write itself, and I think this message is writing itself, it's going to allow you to leave everything behind. Okay. And then with the three of swords, okay, the three of swords is about getting past this pain. It's about getting past the separation. It's about you know, taking responsibility for your part in it and moving on. Yeah. The tower in reverse. Okay. This is another one too, just like, um, uh, judgment in reverse. It's not your tower. Whatever's going on here is this other person's issue. And you just need to get to this. You you're waiting for somebody else and it's not this person. There's almost like somebody else that needs to come in and play right? Um, yeah. So, okay. So let's go. So I have the, sorry, I'm saying so, so much because it's, um, oh, it's a lot of energy guys. 
it's a lot of um active actively being stuck um and i think that that will resonate with you when like you think you're going forward you get pulled back you're going forward you get pulled back like you you just keep trying to get out and you can't and it's just forget it it's just like i'm done right and so let's see okay so four cars came out down here two came out over here so up over here came camera right and this is about reminiscing again this is exactly this um six of cups in reverse um and it's just reminiscing. Now, this is also about learning from the past. So it's about learning from it, right? And I think that you're doing a good job of trying to keep learning. But you're just like, oh my gosh, can I please just clear this out of my energy? I don't want this here. I am so tired of this. Please just free me, right? And then the sword and the rose comes out. And this is about truth, right? This is about protection, and about power that you are the truth is going to be coming out oh guys so once all of this happens and once this message in the bottle comes out okay somebody's going to be coming out and they're going to be like flirting and wanting to date with you you're going to be in abundance like you are once you meditate and heal and i think that you are right now you're going to be getting exactly what you want right hand of cards you're going to take a chance Okay, you're you're going to be strategic, right? Because you don't want this to happen again. But you're going to be moving ahead and you're going to be ascending. You're going to be learning. You're going to be starting a new phase of your life and preparing for union. Uh, guys, this is a fantastic reading. Okay, like this is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Okay, so that is your mid-September reading. Thank you so much. Remember, if you want this deck, okay, I'll send it to you. I don't care where you are. Okay, but I need to find a way to, to find you. Okay, I'll put a video up in October once I figure it all out. Okay, thanks guys. And I will see you hopefully in your bonus.